Lenovo always seems to have at least one cool concept at CES, but this year, Lenovo might have outdone itself with this, the new ThinkBook Plus Gen 6. Now, if you look at it, it seems like any other 14-inch laptop, but with the push of a button, it does this. And as you can see, it's unrolling to become a 16.7-inch notebook, which basically expands the overall display release date by about 50%. Now, granted, it does look a little bit awkward. This is a super tall display, especially if you're out and about, but you get so much usable area to work with. And then Lenovo smartly included some multitasking uh, support in here. You get widgets, um, there's also a smart copy function, and you can even create a kind of virtual desktop. So if you only wanna share like this section of the screen while you're doing a presentation, that's something you can do. And then over here, we have the smart copy uh, section and you can save you know, your clipboard items and other files and documents for multiple days at a time so it's easier to pull up when you want it. One thing that's really impressive is this laptop for having a rollable display and motors inside, it's not all that big. Sure, it's a little chunky, but compared to previous rollable or even foldable laptops with flexible displays, it's really not that bad. And this thing only weighs about 3.6 pounds. Also, Lenovo is giving you two options to open that display with. There's a handy button just positioned right on the keyboard, but if you want to, you can also use a hand gesture. So you gotta put your hand here, it's gonna scan your hand, and then you can move it up. And you know, the screen does take a little bit of time to unfurl, and when you add in the hand gestures and the time it takes to recognize your hand, it's just you know not fast enough for me, but it does work, and you can also use it to close the machine as well. Now, one thing I'm noticing in person is that if you are looking closely, especially from kind of more acute angles, you will notice that the screen has not exactly creases, but little ripples in it. And I think that's obviously due to the nature of the fact that the display has to roll up inside that lid. And kind of like your foldable phones, when you're looking at it dead on, which is pretty much where you're gonna be sitting, can't see anything at all. Now quickly to go over the specs, on the inside we're talking about a Intel Core Ultra 7 processor, uh, Arc XE2 graphics, up to 32 gigs of RAM, one terabyte PCI Gen 4 SSD, not Gen 5, and all your kind of standard ports and features that you expect, including an IR uh, web camera for Windows Hello. Now, I know some people might be concerned that like having this huge display and some motors might suck down battery life, but I'm not actually that worried. This thing has a pretty sizable 66 watt hour battery, and so, yes, you probably are gonna take a little bit of hit in terms of overall longevity, but still, for all that extra screen real estate, I think that trade-off might be worth it. But all of this does come with a slightly hefty price because this thing is gonna cost around $3,500. So you're looking at least kind of almost double what you would kind of expect to pay for a more traditional laptop. But for all of that extra screen display in a relatively tight package and something that doesn't weigh that much either, look, I'm not saying that you know, everyone's gonna go run out and buy it, and at that price, it's gonna be pretty exorbitant for anyone to shell out for. But when the price comes down, maybe in a few, three, four years, this is gonna be a really interesting option compared to your you know, traditional clamshell laptops. Two years ago, Lenovo kind of teased a concept showing off something like this. And now at CES 2025, they've made it a reality and it's gonna go on sale this year. That's just a quick look at the Lenovo ThinkBook Plus Gen 6. But for more from CES, stay tuned to Engadget for more news, hands-ons, and reviews.